this was an interesting tag. Um, I can't remember who exactly created it, uh, but I personally got it from my girl, Edge. Um, I'll link her video down below so you can check out her channel. Um, that's my girl. She's the person that I believe from YouTube has reminded me how important it is to stay positive and confident and how important that is. So for me, this whole tag is pretty personal. Um, you'll see probably throughout the whole video as I talk about everything why this is like such a personal and touchy subject for me. Um, I talk a little bit about confidence. Oh my god, and my hair is driving me berserk. Um, I talk a lot about, you know, confidence and where mine stems from and how I got this way. I'll do a whole separate video going more in depth about this type of thing, but for now, um, I want to keep it strictly to the tag. So the first question, have you ever felt unconfident before and why? Yes, I have. Um, despite how confident I may seem, um, there have been times where I've been, well, not quite unconfident, but more like conscious or, um, what's the word, like, uh, discouraged a little bit, but not quite unconfident, more like discouraged. Um, and it's usually because, you know, when you're so confident in yourself and you're, you're just used to knowing that you're good at something or that you know that you can do something, when something... When there's something that you feel like you may or may not be able to do, it, like, makes you nervous. I don't know. That's how I am. Like, I get hella nervous, and I, I get a little bit unsure about myself. Like, you know, I start feeling like, um, shit, maybe I may not be able to handle this. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I get nervous. Oh. But when I get to the point where I feel like, oh, shit, I don't think I can handle this, like, I get hella nervous, and it's more like, damn, I don't think I can really do this. Like, I thought I could, and I, I don't think I can. And it becomes a little bit nerve-wracking. When I was younger... It was much different. I was nothing like how I am now. I mean, okay, that's a little bit of a stretch. But I wasn't like... But I wasn't like hella, hella confident. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't like, oh, I'm the shit. Or, you know, oh, I know I can do this. Or, oh, I know I'm hella good at this. You know what I mean? It wasn't like that at all. I was actually very quiet at some point when I was younger. Um, I was really shy, kind of. And I felt a little nervous. <laughs> and I felt really nervous being in front of, like, new people or whatever. Like, I was more of, like, the quiet observer, kind of, I guess you could say. And when I was younger, I wasn't that confident in myself. Like, I, I mean, I would be in the school play just because everyone thought that I would make, like, a cute doll or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't recall being extremely confident in myself to the point where, like, I was into sports or... You know, I was always part of a club, or oh, I was in Girl Scouts, or, you know, something like that. Like, I, I kind of kept to myself a little bit. Like, I was a little bit of a bookworm. Um, like, I, I think I've mentioned this in a past video. I think it was in the About Me video, where I mentioned that, like, I read, like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, I was hell of a nerd. <laughs> um, I mean, I had friends, and I was, you know, considered the sweet, you know, fun type but I was actually, there was like a time where I was like extremely, extremely quiet and like kept to myself because I always felt like I was kind of different from everybody, you know, like, I mean, my family wasn't as well off when I was younger as, um, you know, other families of kids that I went to school with. Um, not that I ever let that, you know, kill my confidence or anything, but I just kind of felt different. Next question, do you lose confidence when you don't feel pretty? This is a little bit of a controversial subject, but I'm going to be honest and tell you straight up that, yeah, when I'm feeling hella grimy, I don't feel that confident in myself. Um, I mean, I'm sure some of you guys can relate. Like, you know, when you when you looking bad, you know you looking bad. You know what I'm saying? You know that I look, you know you looking badass. And you know that a dude's going to walk down the street and say, what's up, girl? Hey, girl, hey. Like, hey, how you doing? And when you're, like, you know kind of scrubby, you know what I'm saying, or like you're in your sweats or whatever, you got no makeup on, you don't think some dude's gonna holla at you, and I don't give a fuck what some of y'all females say, whether you want to complain about it or not, you still kind of love the attention. I know that there's a lot of girls out there that they dress hella cute or hella hoochie or whatever, and they think that, oh, whatever, I'm not doing this to get y'all attention. No, maybe not. You're probably not doing it to get that grimy-ass dude's attention, but you're doing it to get a hot-ass dude's attention but what you're forgetting is that men are men you know what I'm saying there it's the male species in general 
So if you go and dress like a hoe, that's why you're going to attract them grimy ass motherfuckers. Now there's some grimy ass motherfuckers that will just holler at you because you got a set of legs or something like that. In which case, they're just grimy ass motherfuckers. But, you know, I, I know that girls want to sit there and say, no, I do it for me. Well, yeah, I know that, bitch. Like, obviously, you know what I'm saying? You do it for yourself because you want to look good and you want to feel good. But you know damn well you like it when a dude says that you look hot. You know what I'm saying? So don't even front. So when I don't feel pretty, yeah, I, I do feel a little bit less confident. I'm not saying I lose confidence, but I feel less confident. Like, I feel a little less like, ooh, I'm a little grimy right now. You know what I mean? But that's just in my looks. That's just confidence in my looks. I don't lose confidence in, you know, myself in particular or, um, you know, the fact that I'm a good writer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't lose confidence in those things, but I lose confidence in the whole appearance. Thing. Girls, girls pick at themselves that's just how we are all right like we just pick at ourselves you know like uh you know like earlier how you saw me I'm sitting here picking at my bangs because they don't you know they're not working right for me right now or you know like oh I have crusty ass lips today or oh my god my bags are retarded you know what I'm saying like girls pick at themselves all the time all the damn time because you know we're concerned you know what I'm saying? Conscious is more the word. Not that we're not confident or unconfident or lost confidence. It's more like we're just conscious. You know what I'm saying? I think we're just conscious about the way we look because of society. It's your fault. So next question. Uh, what makes you feel confident about yourself? Um, I guess over the years, you know, you learn... Ugh, ew. I guess over the years, you learn, like, what you're good at. You know what I'm saying? You try new things or you, you know, you dibble dabble in all these, you know, different interests and whatnot, and, you know, the older you get, the more you realize, sorry, I'm, like, picking stuff off of me, uh, the more, the older you get, the more you realize, you know, what you're good at, and what you enjoy doing, and, like me, I know I'm good at doing makeup, I know that, I may not be the best at putting it on myself, like, I'm still actually kind of working on when that, you know you're good at something, like, I know I'm a good writer, um, I know that I'm good at doing hair and makeup, I know that I'm good at that, um, I know that I'm a good runner. I used to sprint in high school. Um, you know, stuff like that. When you know what you're, when you're good at something, and you know what I mean, that's what builds your confidence. Um, I don't rely on other people to build my confidence, but I'm not gonna lie, that hella helps. You know, when people say, oh, you look pretty today, or, oh my god, you were such a good writer, or, you know, oh my god, I love that article you wrote on blah blah blah, or, oh my god, I love the way you did her hair, like, something like that, you know what I mean? Like, those, like, compliments, compliments in general are things that boost your confidence. But as far as what actually makes me confident, it's just knowing that I'm good at certain things that I actually enjoy doing. And that's part of the reason why I enjoy doing it, because I love doing it. And that's, like, the beauty of, you know, not having to work a day in your life. Like, yeah, it's work, but I love it. You know what I mean? Like, like I used to work at a law firm, and I hated it. Um, I loved the job in general and I love the environment I guess you could say but I couldn't see myself staying in the legal field any longer like I was going crazy um, I'm a lot happier now you know and I'm a lot more confident now you know I work with kids I freelance more with hair and makeup um, I'm dibble dabbling and you know a bunch of random things right now and that's kind of reminding me of like what I really love to do you know and I don't want to just stick to one thing like that's ooh, sorry uh, that's just me like I'm not the type to just stick to like one thing and I think that's the beauty of me knowing that I'm con like I'm confident in how I can do things because I know that I'm good at it you know what I mean um, that doesn't work for everybody because that's kind of the problem is they don't think that they're good at anything or they're you know they don't have the confidence in themselves that they're good at this or they're good at that or oh I'm good looking or whatever I would say though that the biggest thing that has made me as more as confident as I am today is the fact that I was bullied when I was younger is because I was kind of treated in a demeaning manner as I was growing up you know with peers you know other kids like my friends um, even family members believe it or not you know what I mean they break you down like what the fuck is wrong with you you know what I'm saying like people don't understand how people's feelings can be and I do not believe in bullying in any sh way shape or form there may be a time when I'm, like, sitting there, you know, lightweight bashing on somebody, like, ooh, girl, you shouldn't be wearing that. Like, something like that, you know what I mean? But at the same time, hey, girl, more power to you. If you think leggings are pants, then hey, you know what I'm saying? You're wearing bright green leggings and a bright pink thong, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's cute, but if you do, hey, shit, more power to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think that shit's hot, I don't, but you do, 
You know what I'm saying? I think you got a set of balls walking down the street looking like that, girl. Hey! Not that she could pull it off either, but at least she has the confidence to try. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not bashing you. You know what I mean? I don't approve. You know what I mean? But you don't need my motherfucking approval. You know what I'm saying? Like, you do what you do. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says. And that goes for me, too. So even though I have something to say about you, you know what I'm saying? Shit, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Tell me to fuck off and you do what you do. Because that shows me that, well, shit, yeah, she don't give a fuck about what I say. I mean, more power to her. You feel me? Because even though, you know, I say this about you or you say this about me or whatever, the bottom line is that it doesn't bother you. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the same goes for some of the people that bash on me about shit. You know what I mean? I don't really give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, bash on me all you want. You know what I mean? It's not going to change what I do, and it's not going to change how I feel. And it's not going to change, you know, how I live my life. You know what I'm saying? But you're free to your own opinion, obviously, right? All sort of things are things that, you know, help me build my confidence. It's a simple fact that people bash on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, haters. Haters help me build my confidence. Like... I don't know, like, I guess knowing that people hate me for what I do sometimes, or hate me how I do shit, or what I do, or whatever the fuck, I don't know. Haters come up with the silliest shit sometimes. But that kind of shit helps me boost my confidence. You know what I'm saying? Psh! In a Z-formation, baby. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That's just me, I guess. You know, I find that kind of stuff funny. Like, it's hilarious to me that some people can just sit there and fucking bash on somebody, like, over and over and over. Like, it's their business, though. You feel me? Like, you could criticize me about my hair, about my weight, about where I work, about what car I drive. Like, I don't give a damn! You know what I'm saying? But shit, I'm glad it concerns you. Things like that, you know, me growing up being bullied and me growing up being kind of, not battered, like, that's the wrong word to use, but more like, you know, I was kind of, like, my confidence was beat to hell growing up, you know what I mean, and that's what made me stronger, is all the shit that I went through when I was younger, up until now, you know what I'm saying, I still deal with haters, you know, back then when I was younger, it was more like bullying, you know what I mean, and now it's more like haters, you know what I mean, and it's like, ugh, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying, like, whatever, dude, I just go on with your bad self, okay, and I'm gonna go on with my bad self, and a story. Next, we have questions on bullying. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> um, have you been bullied? Yes, uh, when I was younger. Uh, not now, obviously. I'm like 26. Um, I would say 10 or more years ago. I was even bullied in high school by a dude, mind you, okay? Who, till this day, oh my god, I have a story to tell y'all, okay? So there was this motherfucker who, ugh, like, I was just talking about him, like, a week ago because I was talking to my homegirl about it, and I guess it was one of her good friends back in high school. Oh my god, like, this fool, ooh, he made my high school, like, a living hell. Like, first of all, how do you call a girl a hoe when she ain't fucking nobody? I mean, she's a virgin. Like, how the fuck do you call her a hoe? You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, well, maybe it's because I dress like a hoe. No, I didn't. You know what I mean? I, oh, so girls can't wear skirts now? Girls aren't allowed to wear skirts and tank tops? Like, for real? For real, you act like my cooch is hanging out. So I was hella mad because every time I would walk through this motherfucker in high school, like through the halls, you know, towards like the cafeteria or whatever, like wherever the fuck I walked in high school, if he saw me and we were doing the passerby, you know, shit, this will be like, ho, or bitch, or just some dumb shit like that. Like, you know, and like, I could hear the talking, like, you know, you're talking loud enough for me to hear you, dipshit. You know what I'm saying? So I hear, you know, some shit like, damn, she's a hoe. Like, oh, I heard she fucked so-and-so. Or, oh, I, I heard woo-woo-woo. Like, oh, I heard she was fucking with wah 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 and then fucking with wah 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 at the same time. Like, ugh. Why he was like that to me, I will never know. Ever. Like, I, I don't know. I never understood that shit. Because, I mean, yeah, I had a lot of guy friends. I never fucked with them because I was obviously a virgin until I got to college. So I was like, uh, for real, bro? Like, I swear to God, one time he almost did it and I almost socked him. Like, all the way across the face, across the goddamn recess ground. Like, I didn't even give a fuck. Like, I was so fucking mad. I don't know. But anyway, excuse the, the whole cursing and me, you know, fuck, fuck, fuck this. But, I mean, like, for real, you're a dude. What are you doing sitting there bashing on a female for? Like, for real? And I was, I can understand maybe if you're like that because, you know, you tried to date her and she, like, fucked you off. You know what I mean? But I didn't even talk to him. I didn't even know him like that. You know what I'm saying? I knew his first name and his last name and who he kicked it with. And that was it. 
I had no classes with him. I didn't even play sports with his, this fool. Like, ugh, I don't know. I had no real relation to this asshole whatsoever. And so I had no idea why he was even like that to me. To make it even more funny, okay, mind you, years later, like, I'm talking years, like, damn near a decade, okay? Because, like, this happened maybe a year or two ago, maybe two years ago. This asshole friends me on Facebook. What the fuck? Like, you just friend... Really? Really? So I'm like, okay, um... All right, well, maybe you're a changed person. You know what I'm saying? Give him the benefit of the doubt because I'm a positive person. It's whatever. So I accept his friend request, and lo and behold, he's still the same dirty motherfucker he used to be. So I was like, wow, you are still the same dirty little shit that you always have been. Why? why? Like, did you forget everything that you did to me? Like, like years later, you're still tormenting me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he starts sending me hate messages all of a sudden just because I didn't give him the time of day because, I mean, he's psycho, so I didn't want to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? So I, like, unfriended him and blocked him and everything. And somehow he makes a new profile, you know, and then starts trying to talk to me again. And I was like, for real, bro? For real? Like, oh, my God. Like, if this is trailing back from high school, I don't understand. I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. I don't know. You know? <laughs> but... Like, that, that's my experience with a guy bullying me. Like, him and his friends were like that to me. I have no idea why. I still have yet to, you know, figure it out. I've even asked him, and he pretends like he knows nothing about it. Like, he... Really? Bro, you, you smoke too much shit. That's my experience with that bullying. I mean, that to me is bullying because it brought my confidence, like, choo, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, it, like, made me mad. You know, and I have a temper. Oh, God. I think even some of you guys know how ridiculous my temper can be. And I, oh, my God, I'm telling you, I almost socked him all the way across the playground. Like, I was so fucking mad. But anyway, like, I've been bullied even before that, you know, with groups of friends, you know, in junior high. I wrote a blog post about this, sort of, because there was an FAQ that I got about it. And I'll link that down below also. Basically... <sighs> You know, I lost a lot of friends going between elementary school to junior high and then junior high to high school. Like, I probably rotated my friends like three or four times. So, I mean, I wouldn't call it bullying per se, but it's more like they didn't want to be my friend anymore. And then it kind of turned into bullying after that. Like, they would tease me, they would call me names, you know, they would, you know, make my day a living hell. Like, I couldn't wait to fucking go home. So, junior high, I hated. And part of the reason why I hated high school was because of that asshole who, like, tormented me, along with some of the other friends from junior high that carried over in high school. You know, I just kicked it more with, you know, other people, and I found a new group of friends that treated me with more respect and really got to know me for who I was. You know, I was more into school and sports, and, you know, I just kind of focused on other things, you know, other than that. So I kept myself busy, and that's what distracted me from all that bullshit. But I'm not going to lie, that shit made me hate high school. Like, I hated high school. You know? Did you ever bully someone? Okay, I wrote about this too. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I wrote a blog post about this. Some of you may have read it, some of you may have not. Um, I'll try to link that down below also. Um, yes, I have, and trust me, I, not that I regret it, because it taught me a lot, but I'm glad I never did it ever again. Um, I, it's hard to explain, I'll, like I said, I hope you guys can take the time to read it in a blog post, but in short, basically what happened was, is I got my entire school, or my entire grade at my school to hate this one particular girl that me and like three other friends hated. It was like Mean Girls Elementary School Edition. Oh my god, like I was a mean girl, it's terrible. Um, and because of that, that's the reason why I became a nicer person because I didn't feel like that was right, you know, I learned my lesson, you know, I became a better person from that. Um, but I did bully the shit out of this girl. I made like one huge action, like fucked up her entire elementary school life. And I'm pretty sure she never got over it until like high school because not until after high school in college were we like cool again like she was one of the girls who like tried to bully the shit out of me in junior high and high school and you know i i'm pretty sure the reason why she did that was because of that one incident where i you know i fucked her over but i mean that doesn't mean that just because someone fucked you over doesn't mean you do the same thing back so i found that hilarious you know but it was funny because there was nothing she could do that could bring me down because, you know, we went tit for tat on a lot of things. It was really immature, but 
no matter how much she tried to break me down in high school, it, like, never worked, and I think that pissed her off even more, because, you know, we always had that fight over who was stronger, which is funny, because up until about sixth grade, we were, like, best friends, so it's terrible, I know, um, but... I, not that, like I said, not that I regret it, but I don't think I'll ever do that again. And I haven't really bullied anybody since. Um, I w used to be known as a nice person. And then, you, you know, motherfuckers want to fuck with me. So then I became a much stronger person. So I'm like, oh, you want to fuck with me now? Okay, come fuck with me. Whether you were bullying or bully being bullied, how did it make you feel? Pretty shitty. Um, like I said, whether you're the bully ye or the bullier or whatever, um, it's not fun either way. I mean, karma's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So whether you do it at age five or age 24, it doesn't matter. Like it's all fucked up, all all together. Like there's no, there's nothing that could ever justify it. You know what I'm saying? Like just remember that you're fucking with someone's life. You're fucking with someone's feelings. I mean, there are numerous articles on kids who you know kill themselves or you know. Um, commit suicide, you know what I mean, over that kind of shit, and while some of these other people who are being the bullies are, you know, don't think nothing of it, it really is something, you know what I'm saying, it's like, really, motherfucker, like, how would you like it if I did that to you, you know what I'm saying, like, you want to bash on somebody for being weak enough to commit suicide, but what you don't realize is that what you've done is fuck up someone's life, you know what I'm saying, like, it's serious, um, I'm gonna talk a whole lot about this bullying thing because I feel very strongly about it. I don't believe in it, not since that one incident since junior high, uh, since elementary school, I'm sorry, in sixth grade. I will never do that again because it, it doesn't feel good to do it or have it be done to you. And for me, I just, I don't think that you should do that because you're fucking with someone's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just fucking with their confidence. It's not... You know, as simple as just fucking with their feelings. Like, you're fucking with someone's life. Like, your bullying could cost someone's life. And if you could live with that, well then shit, you're one cold-hearted asshole. You know? uh, next question. How do you deal with bullying? Um, now, I deal with it a lot better. <laughs> um, when I was younger, I, I mean, I, I ignored it just as well. Like, I ignored it, but I would go home and be all pissed off and irritated or hurt, you know? But now it's more like, uh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... People want to say stuff to me, and it's like, do you know who you're talking to? Like, I don't think you know who you're talking to. You know what I mean? Or like, what are you trying to do? Like, you trying to hurt me? You know what I mean? Like, people write me hater shit all the time. I don't, I don't know if that's considered bullying in, you know, adult world, but I consider it bullying because it is a form of bullying. Like, you know, someone sending you hater messages, uh, regardless what they're about, you know what I mean, whether they're telling it like it is, or, you know, some other shit like that, like, the bottom line is they're telling you shit that, you know, is hurtful, you know what I mean, and it's not only hurtful, but it's uncalled for, it's hateful, and it's unnecessary, you know what I mean, so, for me, it's more, I don't really ignore it, I ignore it a lot of the time, like, some of you guys are like, oh, I don't even know why you bother with some of these crazy Tumblr form spring messages or whatever, and it's not that I don't bother with them or that I am bothering with them. It's more like I kind of find it funny. So I kind of want to say something back because it's like, oh, what are you trying to do? Hurt me? Like, oh, boo hoo. You know what I mean? And then at the same time, like, there are a lot of messages that you guys don't see. Like, there's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton that I'm always like, X, 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 X. Because I read and I'm like, oh, whatever. X. Oh. Like, you know what I mean? And then some are like hilarious. Like, they come out of nowhere. And then others are like, really picking at your personal life and you're like for real dude Ugh. x x x x x or you know i write a witty little comment back you know sometimes like i make humor out of it you know because i mean in short those people are really just trying to fuck with you for what reason i really don't know i mean it's more than just jealousy if you ask me um it's more than them just being jealous with you but the simple fact is that they're concerning themselves with you you know what i mean so i mean that to me is kind of funny so i don't know i think it's funny um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, some of the stuff that some people have said before on, like, guru gossip, I, I don't even remember, I haven't been on the site for, like, so long, but the last time I checked, there was a page where it was, like, saying a lot of stuff, and I was like, it's really funny, um, a lot of it comes out of nowhere, or, you know, it's just people who have their opinions of you, and people are, you know, allowed to have their own opinions, like, it's whatever, so for me, it's more like, uh, uh okay, <laughs> like, that's exactly what I say when I read someone, like, you know, t <laughs> I don't know. I find that kind of stuff funny. That's just me. Um, inner beauty. 
do nicer people seem more beautiful to you most definitely like as soon as I see an ugly side to somebody not that I consider you an ugly person but I don't consider you a very nice person um I believe that a lot of sorry I'm like hella my eczema is acting up um I believe that a beautiful person part of the reason why they're so beautiful is because they have a beautiful heart and I admire that in a lot of people so I definitely believe that someone who is nicer quote unquote is more beautiful to me because it shows the kind of heart they have now if you have a hateful heart obviously you look ugly as fuck to me you know what I mean like like I said you can bash someone little by little like saying oh her hair is jacked up or oh my god her foundation looks so fucked up you know what I mean like you could say little shit like that but when you're like really bashing on somebody that's when it becomes a problem you know what I mean like when you're bashing on them about the way they live their lives or the fact that someone's poor or the fact that someone you know comes from a broken family like that's shit that you don't fuck with you know what I mean like that's personal shit like for real what does that even matter to you you know what I mean I mean, I just don't get it when people are, like, really trying to hurt somebody. Like, you must have one hateful, cold-ass motherfucking heart to be doing that to somebody. You know, it's one thing to make a comment about someone or say something discouraging, you know what I mean? But now you're just fucking with somebody, and that's not cool. Like, like I said earlier, you're fucking with someone's life. You know what I mean? That's not a joke to me. Uh, does makeup make you feel prettier? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a female, you know what I'm saying? So when my makeup is looking right, yeah, I feel prettier. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um... What do you think of the expression beauty comes from the inside? I believe highly in that. Like I said, I believe that if someone is truly beautiful, it comes from inside. Not everything. I mean, you could look at somebody and be like, oh my god, you are so beautiful. But if you're a straight bitch, you're not that beautiful anymore to me. Like, yeah, you're, I, I mean, I would clarify like, oh yeah, you're hot, but you're dumb as fuck. Or you're a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're hella pretty, but you, this is not pretty. You know what I mean? Like, this is not cute. But, I mean, you can only go so far with good looks. Like, come on, really? So, I mean, yeah, beauty to me comes from the inside. Like, I feel that it's more important to be a beautiful person than it is to be a beautiful looking person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's more important to have a beautiful heart and beautiful, a beautiful, be a beautiful being. You know what I mean? Rather than just looking pretty. Like, you can only go so far by looking pretty. I'm just saying. Just like my perfect imperfections tag, I want this tag to reach out to a lot of you because I feel like this is a subject that a lot of people can relate to. You know, part of the reason why I am this way is because of all the bullshit I went through. You know, like the way people have treated me, the way I grew up, you know what I mean? Like so I hope this video was helpful to you guys and I'll talk to you guys more about the same subject soon. Um, in the meantime, take care because I can. Bye.